Good evening. This is Tina again. I'm gonna have uh, several videos about the time leaf, standard expression syntax, and uh, in this video, I'm gonna only talk about uh, variable syntax, okay? Variable expression syntax, and I will have uh, multiple videos explain each kind each kind of the syntax like iteration or conditional syntax okay so first uh, let's create a time leaf project project very easy to set up okay next using spring boot starter and you create the package and here you're using um, time leaf uh, I can only use in capital, okay? Time leaf expression syntax, okay? And then next, you can just pack a Java web using Spring Web and the template engine using time leaf, okay? Next, and uh, here, next, new window, okay? And wait it for download all the files in able auto import. They're gonna import all the files for you. And after it's done, then you can start writing your code. Okay. And the first one I'm gonna do is create a Java package. Okay. To better organize our folder, right? If you have configuration, then you have to config. Okay. And this one I'm gonna do is called uh, what? Uh, oh, okay. Let's use an index uh, controller, okay. Oh my god, let me turn that off, okay. Okay, and close this one, I've got it. And then we have, uh, how about we create a controller? And then we will go to public string index, okay. And here we add a controller, oh no, not a controller. Data mapping slash return index, okay. Let me move this one to the here, okay. I'm gonna create a index.html index.html time leaf everything is html index page okay and here i will add the paragraph and add the end tag href okay then here the first one i will call a uh, simple uh, variable expression uh, simple expression okay simple expression Let's use in lowercase, simple expression. Okay, this one gonna be simple expression. Okay, expression, okay. And then I'm gonna go and in my controller, I will create another class, which is called a simple expression controller. And uh, make sure you mark it as a controller, okay? And then in and add a get mapping. The URL is what is that simple expression, okay? And uh, you go to public uh, string and uh, let okay string and then you get a simple expression. Okay, got it. And uh, make sure we add a, a spring. We'll actually add a, a slash for you. But uh, if you don't want, you can do like this. Way, okay. Remember, go to simple expression dot html. And here we will add something model model. Okay. And uh, we also will add a domain model. Okay package called a domain and uh, we will also not here okay we'll add a class let's call a uh, person how about that person okay 
and the for a person you gonna have private uh, integer ID private string name okay and uh, uh, let's create another model which is the address okay and uh, here in address we're gonna have private string street okay and the private uh, string uh, zip code okay and uh, we're gonna have uh, uh, getter setters for this one you can also add the constructor which is the first one at the default and then you have have a customized okay and then we have to provide the get a status okay. okay and let's go back to person person we will have a private address okay and address okay and uh, we do same thing have a constructor and then we will do another one constructor we will add three and we will do get the setters right and for all of them okay that's our model have a uh, one to one okay uh, unidirectional uh, association and next one here in the model I'm gonna create an address okay address a D D R E S S. Okay. Equals new address. And here I will using the customized constructor, which is the street. Okay, street. Okay. And I have to give a zip code. Oh, zip code. I using the string value, right? Using the string value five two five five six. Okay, and then I'll create a person. Uh, let's call the person yes your favorite friend. <laughs> call it Tina. And then here I will create an ID. I think I use integer for ID name. Yes, uh, Miss X I G. Okay, and I give address here. Oh my God. And then in the motto, I will add attributes. And the key, I will call person. Did you expect that? You probably think I'm not using Tina. No. Okay. So that's it for my controller. You should be very familiar, which is exactly the same thing you did in Spring MVC, right? We just choose another uh, view. Uh, instead of using JSP, we are using TimeLeaf. There's no changes how you gonna be called in the where controller service repository. No, the only change part is a template. Okay, so now I want to display the person's information in the index.html. How gonna do it? Okay, uh, we have to create another page which is a simple expression, right? Simple expression HTML, okay. Oh, simple express. Actually, sorry for the name. Uh, better simple expression, okay. Uh, let me change. I want everything to be perfect. Okay. Simple expression, and we also need to change control. Oh, it's automatic change. Very smart, intelligent. Really, really good tool, intelligent. I love intelligent. So here we are will create a simple expression. Then how to retrieve the value using uh, the what's the time leaf syntax? You have actually two ways to resolve. Okay, so let me show you the first way. Give a, let's go give a h h one and a simple expression. And the first way is let's using h2, okay, and the call the variable expression, okay. And here, how to retrieve? First, time leaf. We are using what? We are using non-standard attribute. This is how we retrieve values 
inside the GSP person dot id dot name dot address dot zip code this thing right so this is our previous way which is id we're using person dot id previously like this way right but it's not true inside the spring or uh, uh, time leaf time leaf everything every dynamic code you wrote should be as a non-standard attribute okay this one, no. And you have to add something here called a time leaf way, okay? The key, still the key of this request scope attribute, the value is still the variable name, okay? Exactly the same. But you have to use non-standard, uh, what is? You have to use non-standard attribute, okay? And uh, let me put a, like a one, okay? Uh, let me use zero, so to show the difference. And here you have something, we will give one as well, like a namespace, th is not a bound, okay? And uh, it's better you customize, okay? Add a create namespace declaration. And here it's better to using, we using time leaf, okay? Thymelef dot org. Okay, this namespace is reserved for time leaf. Okay, now you you don't have that uh, error. If you don't add it, it still works at the wrong time. Okay, it will resolve it because you have a time leaf. The Spring Boot time leaf start your time leaf. It will recognize this one is dynamic code. But this is a dynamic code, right? You can still view in the GSP. Let me finish everything, then we I will show you, okay? The suppose second one is for the name. And uh, name, let me using uh, uh, Tina, okay? Here I using uh, Miss XING, it's gonna be different, okay? And how to retrieve it for the dynamic content? TH text and using dollar sign person this is a key and the value is the name okay and suppose here you want to display address info okay and uh, let me do it okay paragraph uh this is gonna be what uh, address which is a street right let me using h3 how about that uh, paragraph is fine. Okay, let's use it. Street. Street, suppose, let me using one, two, three, four. Burlington. Okay, Avenue. Okay. And uh, how to retrieve the dynamic kind? Same thing. TH text. And you give person dot address dot street. Exact same. Previously put a bit between uh, inside the tag, now you're using non-standard attribute, okay? I think now you can do for the zip code, right? Zip code, the static is uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, okay? Zero, okay? Too much. Oh, not an abbreviation. TH, what? Text, okay? Then using dollar sign, person, from attribute, address, then using zip code. And now let's run and to see if everything works, okay? We run it. Just click this button. Okay, oh, so fast. It's already started, okay? Let's go to the 8080. Local host. A A L oh, eighty eighty. Let me close this one. Eighty eighty. Okay, nothing else. And it will go to my index.html. I only has this link here. It will go to simple expression. Click. It will go to a simple expression, and you can see this is h one. This is h two. You can see here. The value is one. This is for the ID. This is, this is for name. This is address, or paragraph. This is the street. This is the zip code. Everything you see here is dynamic, right? 
and uh, so at the runtime, okay, when it's live, you will see dynamic content which values are retrieved from the model attribute or request scope. You have a person, okay, you set in the controller. But as a designer, they can still view the static content uh, even though you add those dynamic content. Let you, how to do that? You can direct click here or you can go to the source code, okay? See here? This is static, probably you don't believe me, okay? Let's go to where is this, this file located? Where is this file located? We go to, uh, I think it's on my D drive, go to Spring, then go to Spring Boot, Time Leaf, Expression Syntax, then go to SRC, Main, Resource, Templates. This is the file, right? HTML file. You can directly view, double open. This is see, D drive, this one. And you can, doesn't break. You can, the designer can still view your page and whatever you put between the paragraph tag, it's gonna be displayed like ID, Tina, address. And uh, at the runtime, the time leaf engine will resolve the values and replace those static content. See here, those are replaced. See, one, Miss XNG, street and zip code. So this is the first expression, which is almost identical as the EL expression you use in GSP. The only difference is you are not just put EL expression between the paragraph tag, you must using non-standard attribute in time leaf. Okay, so we covered the variable expression inside the, this video. Next video, I'm gonna show you select expression, okay? Selection expression. And uh, that's it. Thank you. See you next time. Bye-bye.